Hello Erabauken and welcome to this Capture One Pro quick tutorial. In this quick tutorial we will talk about the sharpening tool. The sharpening tool can be found in the details tab over here and as always we will take a look at the menu first to see if there are any hidden features that are not being displayed in the sharpening panel tool panel directly. So as you can see there's a save as default feature in this uh, menu which changes depending on the file. So this is a PSD file so I could save the uh, values I modify as default for PSD files. If I click onto my raw file, you will see that now it would be saved as default for my camera, which in this case is a A7 Mark III. You've got four values you can modify. So first one is the amount, then the radius, the threshold and the halo suppression. The amount is what it is. It's actually the amount of sharpening you apply to your image. So to explain sharpening briefly what it does, it basically increases or decreases the contrast close to an edge in your image. So if I zoom in to 400% to this eye, you will see that next to these single hairs, there's a little gradient. So it looks a little bit muddy. So I will now increase the sharpening. So as you can see, the contrast, check out this area, the contrast is increasing drastically. Now it's pretty muddy and now the gradient is gone basically because you're increasing the contrast. Now the radius defines the distance or the area around a pixel, an edge pixel, that is being affected by the contrast change. So if I increase the radius, the areas are getting larger. So if I zoom out a bit, you can see it even better. So now check out the pores. So at the moment the pores are not really affected. So if I increase the radius, as you can see, the areas that are being sharpened or the details are getting larger and larger. So I will now max it out so it looks pretty ugly, right? So I re uh, reset it to default again. To explain the threshold, we will now zoom in to the catch lights of her eyes. So the contrast between the very bright catch light and the very dark pupil is very large, right? And the threshold defines this contrast level. So I will now increase the sharpening. So at the moment, the threshold is very low. So even these areas where the contrast levels between the um, single details or edges are very low, uh, it's being affected and sharpened. So if I now increase the threshold, you will see that in this area where the contrast isn't that uh, intense compared to the pupil and the catch light, it will now disappear the higher the value of the threshold is, you know. So as you can see, the catch light, especially this edge, is the last one that will be taken out of the sharpening with high thresholds. So if I move back again, you will see then the sharpening begins over here and it will move slightly to the areas with lower contrast. The halo suppression uh, is basically a suppression of any kind of shine effects that can appear. So if I increase the radius, um, let's move to the eyebrow so you can see these bright stripes over here. That's the halo effect. So if I increase now the halo suppression, you will see that they will be reduced, right? Less halo, lots of halo, less halo, lots of halo. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, I'm happy to receive a thumbs up and a subscription of the channel. And always remember to listen to more heavy metal.